All right, fellas, it looks like we're here and we're about to check out the uh, Javelin Tour. So, um, I'm here at Orison. We got um, the Augustan Little Spaceport. And we're going to check out what the Javelin Tour is all about here. See what this Javelin is all about. And of course you guys can see it's Invictus um, launch week. Visit the expo May 20, May 31, Vision Center. Oh, and look, we got the um, Javelin outside. It's docked. But there is a guy like standing right on top of the docking area. Interesting. Alright, so we... It's the first time I'm checking out this um, javelin here. The javelin is pretty big, man. Man, look at the guns on the javelin. Look at the vent of it. Man, this javelin is nice. All right, so we're going to walk inside the um, Javelin and check it out. This is the Docking Bridge. This is cool where I had a look at this shit. We got Armor Locker too as well. Nice. And this is the Docking area for the Javelin. All right, on to the javelin. Nice. All right, so we got the mess hall, and we got the Welcome cargo. UEES Warhammer. As part of this year's Invictus celebrations, I'd like to invite you to take a look around and get an up-close look at an active military vessel. Some of the actual crew members have graciously volunteered their time to explain what life is like aboard the ship. I would like to remind you that the entire ship is not available for exploration, so please be respectful of unauthorized areas. Thank you, and enjoy your visit. It's pretty cool. You should be facing this way, but... That is what it is. Yeah, the little, um... Office. Well, let's see how big this shit is. It's interesting. All right, let's check out the cargo. Let's see what's going on on the cargo. So, of course, we're on um, deck B. So we got the sleeping um, QDRS. Got the cargo. This looks like it leads like the guns and stuff. Interesting. All right, let's check out the um, sleeping sleeping quarters. So we got um, downstairs and we got upstairs. Look like this area is like closed off. To the tour. Oh, you got your boy here with the guns. Oh, he said no, we can't go that way. Okay, it's pretty cool. All oh, right, you got blast doors too right here. I don't know what these is. I don't know what these does. So the sleeping quarters is on deck B. where everybody uh, be at. Mind your head. It's a lot of beds in here, man. It's comfortable. The lighting is pretty cool. Okay. Let's check the opposite side of the sleeping quarters. 
Okay. All right. So, I guess this is where we eat and we chill and you know have some fun. We take a break. Um. We got the engineer deck below. We got the med bay. Hmm. We can't go into the med bay yet. Med bay yet. We got these kind of games and stuff that we can play around with, which is pretty dope. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this is the javelin tour right here. Let's check the upper deck. Damn. So we got the upper deck and the sleeping quarters. Let's see what that look what that looks like. All right, we're in the upper deck. So you got the bridge armory. Oh, this is down to the mess hall. Damn, did we cross? So this is the bridge to the armory here. There's two ways to go around it. Let's check it out. Briefing room. Oh, that's dope. And the bridge. That's locked. Let's see if the brief briefing room, at least the briefing room is open. Oh, yeah, it is. This is interesting. Alright, this way. I don't know what. Why they're blocking these doors off over here. Because we don't even know what this is. He's telling me, nope. Let's check the briefing room out. Oh yeah, the briefing room is looking good. Hello, welcome to the new GPS Warhound. This javelin class destroyer was originally built by Aegis Dynamics and has been in active service since 2832. Launching under the command of Captain Omar Singh, the ship initially served as a combat support vessel in the Second Fleet, Sixth Battle Group, a posting that pretty close to the Vandul Front. The Warhammer saw action during the fall of Caliban. 2884, where it protected retreating civilian and naval forces when the system ultimately fell, earning a ribbon for valor in the process. For the next several decades, the Warhammer transitioned between fleets in a variety of support and patrol positions, even participating in the UEE push to reclaim the Nexus system in the 2930s. Most recently, the Warhammer distinguished itself as the primary combat vessel to repel the outlaw group known as Xenothreat from the Stanton system. Since then, the Warhammer has been placed in dry dock for repairs, but is heading back to active service once this year's Invictus festivities are concluded. The room you're currently seated in is the main briefing room for the entire ship. Based around a hollow volume filled by Microtech, the crew gathers here to discuss everything from battle strategies to repair schedules. The marine detail assigned to this ship also uses this room to plan out their boarding actions or outline combat strategies. This room has even acted as a venue for off-duty activities, such as vid screens or sporting event parties. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to explore the ship and get an up-close look at one of the vanguards of order. On behalf of Captain Metcalf and the rest of the crew, I want to wish you a fantastic Invictus. I hope we see you next year. Hello, and welcome to the UEES Warhammer. That was nice. This javelin class destroyer was originally built by Aegis Dynamics and has been in active service since 2832. Launching under the command of Captain Omar Singh, the ship initially served as a combat support vessel in the Second Fleet, Sixth Battle Group. I like the briefing room, room, room well. Briefing room is the tight. The war action during the fall of Caliban in 2884. Alright, let's, um... Let's see what's on the other side. We still got the, um, so we did the bridge briefing room. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, the armory. Let's see what this armory look like here. What's this? Okay. Java is pretty big, but so this is where everybody like took their break, sleep at. 
Hello everyone, my name's Lieutenant Horrigan, and as you can probably tell, this is Warhammer's Mess Hall. Definitely one of the more popular spaces on the ship. The mess has a fully automated dispensary since we operate on rotating shifts. We have a standard crew complement of 65 to 70, and meals need to be available at all times, so we have a culinary team always on duty, ready to lend support. Famous pilot Ari O'Reilly was once quoted as saying, if you ever want to take the temperature of a ship's crew, spend 20 minutes in their mess. Now, okay. This is one of the main social areas of the ships where crew members from different departments can catch up in their own downtime. We also use the mess for social events like uh, birthdays, holidays, and promotions, since it's able to hold so many people. Our skipper, Captain Medcalf, is a big believer in in casual gatherings. It's in an effort to entrench camaraderie. So we're in here pretty often. Now, you've probably noticed our games in the corner, so I'll just address the question that everyone asks. Yes, it's pretty competitive. The XO currently has the score to beat. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to have a look around. Nice. Now let's go have a look around. Escape pods. Cargo. Let's see what the escape pods look like. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. So this is zero two escape pod. Okay. That's where we came in from. All right, let's settle down. Okay, we My name's a... Lieutenant Commander Alderman. I run the turret complement aboard the Warhammer. Oh, okay. Yeah. She runs the turret. All right, so we came in at here. Now we're going to go to the Welcome cargo. UEES Warhammer. I spoke to him Part already. Of years in Victor celebrations, I'd like to invite you to take a look around. All right, so this is where the cargo section is, and I'm currently, I don't think, maintenance zone. I don't think we can go in there right now. Okay. Please be respectful of unauthorized area. Okay. All this firepower is coupled with a heavy payload of ordnance to make the Warhammer a real problem for all sizes of ships. Hence why we can be tasked to operate independently on patrols without support from the rest of the battle group. During the Xeno threat incursion, our gunners were responsible for the destruction of over 70 hostile elements and several capital ships, as well as protecting the ship from incoming ordnance. As a special treat, we've safety this turret so you can get a taste of what it feels like to be a gunner. All the weapons have been deactivated, so don't worry about accidental discharge. But I'll remind you, this is an active military vessel. So be respectful all the same. Thank you, and have a great Invictus. All right, all right. Oh, so you can enter the turret. Let's enter the turret. See what this bad boy does. Some big ass guns on this turret, though. Oh, man. Aegis combat assist systems green nice let's see what the turret look like from the outside so, so this is your javelin guys this is your javelin this is what it looks like it's big man yeah look at the guns on this on the javelin Some big ass guns here. Oh, so you can like align. Okay. Aligning, okay. Big ass guns, man. 
That was nice. All right, let's see what else we need to cover here. This is an elevator. All right, let's settle down. My name's Lieutenant Commander Alderman. I yeah, we listened to her already, but how do we get to the that elevator? I'm in charge of coordinating fire between our various we'll combat out. engagements in order to maximize combat. Okay, we'll check that out. Yeah, I feel like we're in the sleeping Hi, folks. quarters. Welcome to the war armor. I am leading Starman Detmer, and this, as you've probably guessed, is one of the two barracks on the ship. And I know, I know, you must be thrilled to see where Navy personnel sleep, and let me be the first to tell you, it's every bit as exciting as promised. Javelins are pretty great when it comes to sleeping arrangements, as they have enough bunks for the full crew, which is amazing because it avoids situations known as hot bunking, where you swap out bunks with somebody on the opposite shift, and that is horrible. Uh, this one time on my old ship, I had to share with this guy who had just the worst smelling socks. Um, and I'm talking, you know, the military could have weaponized it kind of bad. And I had to try and fall asleep with that every day. So, uh, yeah, after that, these bunks are a, a dream. <laughs> And I'm just thinking that uh, actually I don't think my CEO would like me talking about how bad hot bunking is. So maybe just forget I said anything. Uh, anyway, uh, each one has special slots for personal effects um, and is capable of sealing you up to give you a little privacy. People are always moving around the barracks. Sleeping schedules shift slightly too so they can activate the full crew at a moment's notice if the ship enters heavy combat, you know. So you, you're kind of always sleeping with one eye open. I mean, we get short sleep schedules if we are patrolling dangerous space, so... I mean, you're already grabbing sleep when you can, and... Sorry, I am rambling. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you. This is where we sleep. Not a whole lot of mystery to it. But I hope this has been enlightening. Please have a look around if you like. But and like and what look, so I said someone this joined the ship. channel, meaning like and someone entered the ship the just the now, crew. which so is pretty cool. Be cool. Down. Commander Alderman, I run the turret complement aboard the Warhammer. That means I'm in charge of coordinating fire. What's going on? What's up? What's up? In order to maximize Yo. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. Nice, how nice. about you? Uh, doing good touring this um, ship. It's looking good so far, man. Yeah, it does. Miss <laughs> Hall. Yeah, so we've been in a mess now. Um, Hello, everyone. My name's Lieutenant Horrigan, and as you can probably tell, this is Warhammer's mess hall. Definitely one of the more upper deck. I just don't um so we did the briefing room and I know that's on the upper deck. We just need to figure out how do we get to a different level, like on the opposite side of the bridge. The bridge is what we need to look for and that's what we didn't get to. That might take us to the opposite side. But it may be locked off though. Hello. Welcome to the UEE as it was. Figure out how we got to the bridge. Yeah, there's a lot of doors like locked. Do you know that the French camaraderie? So we're in here pretty often. Now you probably noticed our games in the corner. So I'll just rest. a lot of people on this ship.
Alright. This look like what? No, that's not the Yeah, this is Yeah, this is not it. What life is like aboard the ship. I would like to remind you that the entire ship is not available for exploration. So please be respectful of unauthorized areas. Yeah, so it looked like that's it. I don't think we can like go to the bridge and just pretty much the briefing room. Um sleeping quarters. Can't do too much. So we've been on the upper deck. What's this? First aid. This is nice. This is like lockers and stuff. Got the sink here. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Hmm. Hi, folks. Welcome to the warmer. I am leading Storm and Detmer, and this, as you probably guessed, is the two barracks. All right, let's settle down. All right, well, that was Ken good. Marshall. That was it. Um, I'm turret complement aboard the Warhammer. That's the Idris right there. I mean, that's the Javelin map for y'all. Not the Idris, but the Javelin. It's nice. Welcome aboard the UEES Warhammer. Part of this year. It's a big ship, man. We still got a whole lot to see once they open it up. It's pretty cool. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. We're going to cut it here. This was just a tour for the Javelin. Um, I'm going to have the tour for the Bengal. I think we can get in the Bengal, but I'm going to check that one out next. See you guys soon.